I've been studying these Davisia species for a long time, uh, decades, and uh, traditionally used uh, external appearance like everyone did to classify them. But new DNA technologies in recent years enabled us to uh, look at their genetic differences and to our great surprise we've discovered species that we wouldn't have suspected were different from other species uh, because of the resolving power of the DNA. So we, we found this unlikely pair of twin species, cryptic species if you like, and that called to mind the movie Twins. My name is Julius and I'm your twin brother. Oh, obviously. The moment I sat down, I thought I was looking into a mirror. So we named them Davizia Schwarzenegger and Davizia DeVito. DeVito was a rather more gracile, uh, delicate little plant. And the other one, which we called Schwarzenegger, was a um, big, robust plant, much more prickly and uh, more upright and uh, robust. So that, uh, those names that we gave to them echoed the differences between the actors. Both species have similar habitat and distribution. They occur in uh, southeastern Australia and both extend from Eyre Peninsula in South Australia across through northern Victoria to uh, central New South Wales and specifically in Mallee communities. They appear to be confined to tiny remnant patches in remnant vegetation in a region that is largely cleared, mostly cleared for um, wheat farming. These plants are ecologically important members of the communities in which they grow, they and their relatives in the egg and bacon pea family and their nitrogen fixes and nitrogen fixes play an important role especially out in that Mallee region where the topsoil's uh, been very eroded and the nutrients have gone with that, that uh, so it's important to have nitrogen fixes to replace those nutrients. So in my monograph I recognised and described and named 131 species of Davisia uh, which is nearly double the 70 that were recognised when I started work on it in the 1970s and this kind of this process of taxonomic revision is uh, really important if we're to fully understand our rich biodiversity in Australia.